Hi, everyone. A lot of you are very interested in this kid and how we are, you know, we're, we're losing this uh, feminism thing. This, this is uh, this kid that everybody has asked me about. <sighs> Firstly, I want to say to this kid, you could never, ever know how meaningful and beautiful a woman is. So that's my thing to him. So this guy called Dylan Mulvaney um, is an actor. He's a comedian. He's a TikTok personality. He's basically a theatre kid and his chart shows a theatre kid. Yes, he's, in, he's been in Legally Blonde. He's been in Spring Awakening. He's been in High School Musical. He's a theatre kid, Okay. But this guy's psychology is so messed up, so messed up because womanhood, womanhood is not just dressing up as a woman. So for years he's been trying to get the parts, acting parts, as a female and nothing has worked since age 23. So you can see there 23 and 33. So he's in the chart of the cycle of a rabbit. 2023 also brings a rabbit. The rats that he sits on are in penalty with the rabbit. So for 10 years from 23, anything he does, none of it's going to work. Within six hours or within six months, it's gone, dusted. No one knows where it is, that kind of thing. So he then had what's called uh, feminization surgery and so that's there so the feminization surgery so he'd look more feminine right and so he'd get the role of a female still not happening sweetie yeah so he hasn't transitioned all he's just done is his face you still have a penis and a testic and your testicles I don't know maybe you haven't oh actually yeah he does have I'll explain that after. <laughs> so he becomes this TikTok personality and he begins what's called 365 days of girlhood, okay? Day one, this guy dresses up as a female and he says, oh, I cried three times today, you know, and someone asked me, am I okay? And I said, yes, even though I'm not, seriously. Your research is so wrong, you dipstick, <sighs> because he's assuming that this is what women do. They cry three times a day and that his transitioning is working now. The thing here is the twats that are out there that are supporting this person and supporting the twats out there that are allowing this to happen too many twats so this guy even ordered stuff right he says i ordered stuff you know like online he he couldn't afford it but because he's playing a female role he had to do that yeah no you're just a loser you dickhead yeah even caitlin jenner had a go at this person at this boy so there's something wrong there when Caitlyn Jenner also has a go at, at you um, he's taking advantage of things that are what a woman is etc etc so anything he's involved in anyone that supports him you're going down with him all right so the other thing is he also had this party thrown for him at the Rockefeller. This is how stupid, you know, <laughs> it only takes a day, a month or a year to make or break you and you are, you are broken now. I'm sorry, you are. He did the Nike sports bra. He wore a sports bra. You've got to have boobs to wear a sports bra even I before I had my twins <laughs> you 
Yeah, I couldn't, wouldn't wear a sports bra. So the Just Do It logo is now being laughed at and it is now Just Don't Do It. And then there's the beer commercial that this person is also doing. I'll put it down here. So the beer, the Bud Light, <laughs> which in this commercial, the beer, it's the beer that removes the word no from a drinker's vocab. So that alcohol rape culture that once existed and, you know, has been, you know, fixed, this, this, has just come back, just like that. And it's all right because this guy with a penis and testicles is okaying it, all right. It's so demeaning to a woman and telling them that he's going to steal their man and he walks around and then, you know, he sees a tree and he goes, oh, a tree, love them. Yeah, so females don't have the time to do that, you twat. Anyway, he's making fun of females. He's making fun of real women and real men, they will never look at you, sweetheart, so stop trying, all right? Anyway, so this guy has that metal element which is, very virtuous, really, but look what the penalty has done. So anything that comes out is trouble. Anything that comes out is challenging. Anything that comes out is a penalty. Uh, and then he does this like a Disney princess, you know, and the Disney princess is like, oh, I wish someone would come along and dance with me and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, he's doing this. So congratulations on being creepy and congratulations on being a dickhead is what I would say. Um, in one of the things he says, oh, I just had my first dance and then he comes out in these shorts and sports bra and there's a bulge so he sings a song about normalising the bulge. Yeah. So Nike, you deserve everything you get now. And who started this? There was a guy called John Money. He pioneered this term gender. He was a sexologist. There's a surprise. So a guy, this, this goes further, a guy identifies as a woman. So he gets locked up in a women's prison. He rapes two women in that prison and not one feminist stands up and says anything. No one stands up and says anything. Yeah, where's the right to privacy? Where's the right to human rights? And the doctor that says you can just put the, the trans thing on pause like you would when you're listening to music, yeah. This is about mu mu mutilation of the truth is what somebody um, actually named it. So, Dylan, you're misguided by the wrong people and you're misguided by yourself and you really should be in a white jacket and the world will not help you when you collapse and when you crash, I should say, especially when he's sitting there with the President of the United States and he's asking the President for health care for primary age school kids to actually trans. And he doesn't have a problem with that. What about the rest of the people that need health care? Yeah, I know. Maybe he was a friend of Hunter Biden's or somebody like that. <laughs> so this is, a this is a child that had morals and anything when he opens his mouth, you can't shut him up. That's it. But at 23... Anything he says to make the rabbit is his money. Anything he says that makes money. Yeah. So I hope, I hope that he stops all of this before, where are we? 
before June comes along because he's going to know about it then. Yeah. June is very, very sad. So if you want to help him send him some tissues, he's going to need them all. But this is when I talk about a penalty or a clash. It only takes one day for it to all happen. So now he's also doing ads for Tampax. I think he's going to put them up his nose when he, because he would have had them the same way when he had his surgery. So, yeah, that's it. All right. And, yes, I am looking a little bit flat because there's things I've got to um, deal with, <laughs> and I am. All right. So hopefully now you guys understand why this kid is so effed. Have a great night.